short stories with Rene Garcia. Yeah, well, this is unrelated to anything. It's just something that happened to me today, and it, it kind of bothered me. Okay. Um, so I got my coffee this morning. I'm in my, my Challenger, right? And, you know, I, I like to, uh, I don't drive very often because I live across the street from work. So when I drive, I like to drive. I like to, you know, open up the car, like, you know, especially when a uh, red light, here I go. Anyway, so I'm in the right lane and I'm at this red light and the on-ramp of a freeway is about, I don't know, maybe 50 yards from where I am. Car pulls up to my left. So this guy's in the second lane. I'm not sure if he wants to get on the freeway or not. It's not really a concern of mine. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, this is where I normally just like to gun it, right? And so I go, I'm gunning it. And I guess this guy wanted to get in front of me. He got so upset. He's talking his horn because his car, you know, he was in, I, don't, I wouldn't say it was a performance vehicle. It was probably, um, he may have like tuned it up a little bit, but okay. it wasn't like, you know, it, it might've been like a, a Corolla or something that he had souped up. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, or like a, an Accord or anyway, the point I'm making is that it, it wasn't meant to be a race car. Right. All right. Anyway. So then he gets behind me and then he, he flips me the bird, right? And typically I would have been, I would just like, ah, whatever. I got a, a better life than him. Uh, but I don't know what got into me. I hit the brakes. Boom, right? Here we go. And you know, it was a little bit of my dad in me because this is the kind of thing he would do, like on the freeway. <laughs> like dead stop yeah. on the freeway kind of thing, right? Right, right, right. Um. And, you know, I didn't get to that point. I kind of, like, thought about it a little bit. I I just let him get close enough for him to see my expression and just, like, waving, like, you know, what the hell are you thinking? Blah, blah, blah. And then we start doing the thing on the freeway, you know, mad dog and each other. Arr! And that was that. Um, you know, and then he sped off. But I was just thinking, I, I was wrestling with my mind all the way back to my apartment. Like, A, that was kind of stupid, right? Like, it could have escalated... Uh, in a really bad way, in right. in a way that I probably, you know, was not prepared for. Okay. Um, but then B, it also touched on the whole, like, alpha mentality that we talked about in the last episode. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I don't know if I, I, I did the right thing or the wrong thing. I think, you know, just, like, logically it was probably the wrong thing. But for my ego felt pretty good <laughs> you know and it's like what what is is that what it means to be alpha right to just like you know not take any crap from anybody even if it means you could you know uh be physically harmed or killed right i think the uh what it means to be alpha is to know all that and then decide not to are you sure yeah okay i don't know man i think I think being alpha means knowing all of that, still not taking any crap because you know that you can handle it. Yeah, I don't agree. Okay. And I want to agree with your definition, but the the emotional feeling or my my emotional brain, if you will, yeah. thinks it's my the other definition. <laughs> because I think you know, can can that then mean the person who, you know, can't handle those situations, like the biggest wimp in the world, scrawny, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Yeah. Is that guy now alpha because he does the calculation and says, oh, well, I'd rather be alive. No, it's not what I'm saying. It's it's knowing that you're willing to do whatever you're willing to do and then choosing not to not thinking, mm. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to escalate this. And so not okay. doing something. It's almost like you've done what you've done now to earn your alpha stripes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now it's next time. Eh, I know I could go there. I don't need to anymore. Mm, okay. You know what okay. I mean? It's almost, it's almost like you've already proved that to yourself and it's it's not no longer part of the definition. I hear you. And I think if I had had like a lifetime of quote unquote being alpha and doing the thing that I'm now advising against yeah. in the past. Yeah. And saying, well, I have that experience to draw from. I'm not going to do it because it's yeah. dumb. 
then I could say, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's the, uh, the wise alpha. Uh, but I don't have that history is the issue, I think. That's what I'm struggling with.